This is Eugene Pandritkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Apple MacBook Air A1369 laptop with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the screen assembly on that MacBook Air A1369. This is for the 13-inch version of this laptop. Now for most non-Apple laptops, when the screen cracks, you just replace the screen itself. But since for MacBooks, since the screen is so tightly integrated into the screen assembly, it's very difficult to remove the screen from the screen assembly. So in this case, we replace the whole screen assembly and that makes the procedure simple enough for most people to do it. And for this procedure, we're going to use this toolkit. It's a laptop computer and tablet repair toolkit, which we sell on our website, and I'll show you later where you can find it. All right, uh, for this laptop, first thing is make sure that it's shut down, basically that the screen is dark. Uh, this, this laptop never fully shuts down, so when we open up the laptop, we'll disconnect the battery. That's how you make sure it's fully shut down, shut down when you replace the screen assembly. So the first thing you want to do is close the laptop and look on the bottom. Okay, on the bottom you'll see model A1369 and that's what we're looking for. So the step after that is to remove the 10 screws that are holding the bottom lid to the rest of the laptop and we start with our toolkit. We remove the screwdriver handle and we take out from this toolkit a 1. a 1.2 millimeter star bit. It says 1.2 on there and there's a little symbol of a star. So that's the bit that we start with. We put this bit in our screwdriver handle, secure it, put the kit to the side, and start removing the screws. So once you remove it, what I like to do is keep it in a pile all together, and for each step in the procedure, we start a different pile in the order in which we remove them. So we go one by one, and remove these. Make sure you don't lose them because they are on the small side. This is usually more screws than you have to remove in a regular laptop or a non-Apple laptop. Okay, finally, the two screws near the top of the assembly, they're different from the other eight screws. They're uh, longer, so I'll show you once we remove them. They're a little bit longer, and we'll keep them separately from the other eight screws. Okay, so once we remove the screws, we put our fingertips near the top of the screen assembly and just lift the lid and it should come off without any problem. So let's take a look at the, what we have to do here. The first order of business is to disconnect the battery. This is All of this is the battery down here and this is the connector that connects the battery to the motherboard. What we want to do is gra grab the connector by the plastic strip and just pull backwards and once you pull backwards the connector pulls out and when we reconnect it so when we reconnect it you just pull it back in this is how it engages you can see and you push it back in so it's connected again so we're going to pull it out again 
like so. So once you pull out the connector, the computer is safe to work with. As I said before, we're going to remove the whole top of the screen assembly and replace it with a new one. So before you remove it, you have to disconnect several connectors and I'll show you which ones you have to disconnect. Okay, this connector down here, it's for the screen itself. So we disengage it and we're gonna use our next tool. We're gonna grab the tweezers out and we're gonna lift the bar. There's a metal bar. We're gonna lift that up. So we lifted the metal bar up and then we grab the back of this cable and you can see you disengage it. Okay, to connect it back again we slide it back in and let's get a close-up see this is pause the video right here this is what it looks like when it's fully engaged and the other way to know that it's fully engaged again is the bar comes back down again so we lift up the bar again using either our fingertips or the tweezers and gently pull the connector out again when doing this, there's some small components that are surface mounted right next to it. Be sure not to disturb those. Okay, there's a second connector on the right hand side. This is for the webcam, the webcam cable. And once again, we grab it either with tweezers or our fingertips and pull the connector out like this. And to engage it, we just push it back in. You can get the tweezers to help you a little bit. So this is what it looks like fully engaged. So we pull this connector out again like so. Okay and finally there is the connector for the Wi-Fi antenna, the Wi-Fi antenna cables. It goes through this opening right here to the screen and it's threaded on the bottom and it's going to the Wi-Fi board. So the first thing to do is lift up these connectors like this. So one and two. And then we have to unthread it from the bottom of the bottom case or in this case from the top. So you, before you start unthreading, look several times to see how it's threaded and gently start removing it. So gently start removing it, but first make sure you know, you remember how it's threaded. So you gently start removing it. And by the fan, there's uh, some rubber cushions that it's going to be going through, but it can get under from the rubber cushions and it comes out. Okay, and so to re-thread it, you put it back in and you use your tweezers to gently push, push it back in. And the the connector cable is not circular, it's rectangular, so make sure you put the thin part in. So it's a little bit harder for me to do it since I'm operating the camera and doing this. So, but what you do is you lay it down and gently thread it back in. Okay, now once we removed all the connectors, we can remove the screws that are holding the screen assembly to the laptop itself. Bef before we do that, we're going to change the bit. The bit that we're going to need for the screen assembly. If we can get this one out. Okay. The bit that we're going to need for the screen assembly itself, it's a Torx. It's a T8. You can see It's pictured here. It says T8, so that's the bit we're going to need. We're going to put in the screwdriver handle and tighten it. 
So for this part right here, what I like to do is stand up, open up the laptop and stand it up. That way, and get the laptop at a 90 degree angle. That way it's easier to align the new screen assembly. Once you do that, you start removing the three screws that are holding the bottom of the hinges to the back bottom of the laptop. You remove these three screws here and also these three screws here. So let's start with the screws on top. And once again we start a new pile for these. Make sure you don't lose them. There's one. Two. It will fall down, but make sure you have a tabletop. And once again, we have the pile here. And there's three. Okay, and we do the same thing on the bottom. There's one. Okay, we use our tweezers to remove it. It got stuck by a magnet. And there's two. Again, stuck by a magnet. And three. Like so. Okay, now one thing to note on this last screw, you can see that there's a metal clip on the cable that's attached to the cable, and that metal clip, let's get a close up. That metal clip goes right on top of the hinges and that's a grounding clip so make sure you're you note that when you receive the new screen and you mount the new screen and that you mount the metal clip on top of the hinge assembly okay once we do that we can separate the screen assembly from the rest of the laptop on the bottom, there's a piece that holds the screen assembly. So we gently lift it up. Actually, let's try. Okay, instead of lifting it up, what we're going to do is push it back like this, like so, and then the screen assembly separates from the rest of the laptop. So let's try it again. So we put it right here and then gently fold it back and it comes back. Okay, so this is the screen assembly. We put the rest of the laptop to the side and let's take a look. This is the replacement part that you need to order. It's the MacBook Air A1369 screen assembly. And it has the, it'll come prepackaged and the cables will be covered up. It has the cables like so. So to make sure you're getting the right one, compare your old screen assembly with the new screen assembly. You can look at the size of the connector for the screen itself. Also, the size of the connector for the webcam. You can count the number of pins on there. You can count the number of metal strips on there. I'm not sure I can get a good focus there. And finally, the length of the Wi-Fi cable. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons sell this exact replacement. It's the A MacBook Air A1369 screen assembly. And what you get with us is we have the item in stock. We ship it from Tucson using free priority mail shipping. So you'll get it in two or three days. We have a two year warranty on defects and workmanship for this screen assembly. 
and we offer free email technical support. If you're the outside of the United States, we can ship to uh, most countries around the world. Just follow the regular checkout procedure to get it there. Okay, and also one final note, the one that we sh ship, the replacement that we ship, it's a brand new Apple original part. This is not a fake or a knockoff, it's a brand new original Apple part. And it has the same specs as your original screen. Okay, also this toolkit that I use today, we sell that online with, with our screen. So when you go to order the screen, the toolkit will be, sh will be shown as an accessory that you can order also. To order from us or to inquire more, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will give you a laptop model name, and from that will guide you to buy the right screen online. Okay, once you do get the new screen assembly in, I'll briefly walk through the procedure to put it back together. So what you want to do is, okay, so it goes, it goes like this. So you gently mount the screen inside the bottom of the laptop, like so. Make sure it fits and then put the screws back on and when you do that make sure that the cables are threaded the right way so right now i have it mounted like it's supposed to be put the three screws in on the bottom three screws in on the top thread the webcam cable in like it was before uh, this is probably the most difficult step but it will take about five minutes or so then it should be done. Then connect the webcam cable on the bottom. Connect the Wi-Fi cables here, just snap them in. And connect the video cable on the top. Once you do those steps, you put connect the battery connector like I showed you before. Then you close the laptop and you put the bottom lid back on and put all the screws back on. And if everything goes well, your screen should be good as new. Okay, and that's it. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrukovic. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.